Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. This is a timeless message, well it's really a reading message, but it feels more like this message that's really been pushing through to come through. Interesting as well, we're seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I haven't taken this deck out for about a few weeks. Um, and it, I've been feeling very strong messages and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm feeling. But first I want to get some of these decks out. I'm going to use these three because they feel like the most relevant. So we have the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. We have the Romance Angels Oracle deck. And of course, I have the Baby Rider Wait to Row deck. Message that wants to come out right now is essentially, I keep hearing it, meet me in Paris. Meet me in Paris. I just got goosebumps. Somebody is going to meet somebody that is a relationship in Paris. Uh, and it feels like it's winter, meaning it happened in December or it's December, January, February, March. It feels like it's wintry and snowy. Now it could be that you go to Paris during Valentine's Day because I am, by the way, I'm recording this in middle of December, but they're telling me to push this reading out weeks later but they want this message to come through because they want it to be fresh now if you've seen the movie anastasia that's another thing that i'm seeing here as well the movie anastasia when something about the lock and key that's really strong too this lock and key thing is like you have them on lock now i'm also feeling like if you remember in Anastasia, if you've seen it, I'm sorry, if I don't want to ruin the movie for you guys, but Anastasia, essentially, she has the, the key that she wore as a necklace. Her grandma had the lock, or had the, the, the lock, and it was that song, Once Upon a December. Oh, I'm getting, and it's like, I'm reading this in December 2022, and it feels like, again, it doesn't come through until Paris, and I'm feeling midnight in Paris, which is weird. I've, I've constantly heard also like one of my other favorite readers talking about he comes at the midnight hour and I don't know what this thing is, but it feels like there's some sort of a message, like almost like a formula between two of us. Like it's really freaking weird, but I'm feeling like the song from Chainsmokers, Midnight in Paris, I'll link it in the description below or in the comment section below. And it feels like Midnight in Paris. I'll meet meet me in Paris. Midnight in Paris. Is this a note? Is this a message? I don't know. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. And I don't really read love readings a lot. Like there's some people who specialize in love readings. I like love doing love readings, but I only do them sometimes in batches, like very unexpectedly when I feel drawn to do them. I'm not a big love reading person. I watch love readings. I don't do them. But when I do them, there is a very specific message that wants to or needs to come out. So whoever is hearing this, if you are thinking about going to Paris or there's something that you are doing in Paris, particularly if you are a female in Paris and you're going to Paris and you're watching this video, this message could specifically be for you. Or if you unexpectedly have a trip that you're planning to go on to Paris. Now we have the two of wands. Look, the world in his hands. The knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles. And of course, when you look at this, you think of France. Does this guy, is this guy like a royal in France? I mean, I don't understand who this guy is. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this could be your energy. This could be somebody who's associated with, meaning a government official in Paris. They have some sort of a status in France, okay? With the Ace of Cups here, this is the Holy Grail of Love. And this message just swooped in and they're showing me like an eagle. It's like, oh my gosh and then all of these cards just flew out and the queen of swords just showed up aquarius gemini libra 
if you've been thinking about going to Paris and you have been debating this for some time and you suddenly feel this push to either watch this video or to suddenly you recently have felt this push or suddenly after you watch this video, you feel this push, strange push to book a trip to Paris. This is your sign. Like that's it. Like this is it. And I think that whoever this person is, they could be coming through in Paris. The key, the lock and key keeps coming back. It keeps showing up. And it feels like it's going to be brisk. It's going to be cold. It feels like when you walk, you're going to have to drink something warm. You're going to have to wear something warm. Look how she wears a coat or sort of a jacket over her body. Very interesting. I, I've never really felt this energy this strong. Now this could go, like I said, into, into the spring equinox. So pretty much we're looking from the winter solstice to the spring equinox. This thing could happen. Meet me in Paris. Now Paris is also the city of light. It's the city of love. It is the most, well, you know, it's, it's the most well-known city in the world and for good reason. Now, pay attention to the red flags. That's coming up with the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, and it almost feels like that's telling you, it almost feels like telling you to listen to your gut, paying attention to the red flags, knowing what it means, deciphering between um, the messages, knowing your gut, knowing your intuition, knowing when to look out for red flags. If this message is for you, you will know. And I'm feeling within three weeks of this message being received or coming out, uh, like this person will go. So like I said, I'm filming this and I am um, releasing this sometime in January or very early February. I'm really not sure. Um, and like, this is the message. I don't know. Past life relationship. Very interesting. Do you get engaged in Paris? Because like, I'm sorry if I ruined that for anybody, but it also feels like there's, there's kind of like this dark, it's a, it's a nice energy, but it's like kind of dark. Um, I had to pull the Intuit Oracle deck. This message, these messages are coming out very strong. This is being filmed on December 15th, 2022. There's definitely a man that is lurking that has some money or that has like something important to give you. They have a pentacle to give you. They have a cup of love. This person is close. They're nearby. Okay. And it could even be that somebody watching both of these channels, if you know this other channel that I'm speaking about, it could be that you know, oh gosh, they just shot out. Look at this. Jupiter in expansion, winter. Wow. So we just mentioned winter. We also have Jupiter expansion. Traveling is also a, a type of expansion. sort of a cross-reference here. Look at this. Again, allow trust in divine timing. And look at the ballerina. Again, this winter energy. It's almost like the nutcracker is what they showed me. Does this person like the nutcracker? Does this person... It's almost like they showed me the royal ballet as well. Does this person like the royal ballet? And it's really weird. Oh my gosh. Right when I said that, it's like, I felt this energy of like, the Nutcracker is Russian. The ballet in Paris is like pretty well known. Then they showed me Moscow. They showed me the, the, the ballet in, Mo in Moscow. What is this about? Look at this. Prince of Air, the lovers. <sighs> 
this guy, whoever he is, he's swarming. He's, his energy is like really close. Like he's about to approach you. And yeah, he definitely has some sort of significant success resources. Very classy, a gentleman. Okay. We also have, look at this time frame, Capricorn season. January 21st, or I'm sorry, December 22nd to January 21st. That's right after the winter solstice. This is for someone very specific. We have the butterfly. We have the house. We have the crow. We have the dolphins. It can offer you stability, that's for sure. Now, I also feel, too, that they're really divinely protected with the crow showing up here. The dolphins, peace and harmony, it tells us that the relationship is pretty solid and strong and healthy. Yeah, we have the heart. We also have the mountain showing up. We have stalemate. So I feel like something in the past, or it could be that there has been a significant delay, delay tactics. Something has needed to be uncovered or to be resolved before this relationship could take off, which tells me with the bottom of the deck here also being wine, this is aging like fine wine. This is a long relationship. This is a relationship where maybe it's almost like and the letter, geez, such strong energy. It's almost like this person has known you for a long time. They never really made a move. This letter, it's almost like the letter is meet me in Paris. Meet me in Paris. What the heck, you guys? Or meet me somewhere. There's somewhere specific, but they keep saying Paris because Paris symbolizes love but they keep saying meet me in Paris because I think it has to do specifically with love, not with anything else. If you said anything else, if you said meet me in LA, it'd be like, okay, something about stardom or something. If you said meet me in, you know, Hawaii, you would say, okay, travel, meet me in Bali, it would be different, right? But there's something specific about meet me in Paris. And look, right when I saw this, I thought about the garden of Versailles, the garden abundance. Wolverine is here as well. Fierce, unpredictable, wild. Right when I saw Wolverine, I thought of the actor Hugh Jackman and the fact that he has a British accent. You could be dealing with somebody who has a different accent from you, which means they're from a different part of this world. Now we're going to get one or two more cards here. Wow. Okay. So we had the ship going places and we had the bridge. And right when I saw the bridge, I just thought of London bridges falling down. The song, I thought of medieval ships. So there's something linking to London or England with the bridge. This guy could be English. This guy could have... There's something linking... A little bit of England, a little bit of, of France, or the the Isles, right? Because we have England, Scotland, Ireland, and that's sort of what we would call an island, I presume. Um, and then we have France, which is obviously the mainland. Yeah, we have geese, so, okay. We're done with this. I think the message that needed to come out came out. But let's get some one or two other cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck to kind of finish this off. Meet me in Paris. Meet me in Paris. And I'm just seeing like cursive writing. Somebody's writing, meet me in Paris. Or 
and it feels like the masculine writes this. Look at this, the message in a bottle. Crazy, somebody says, meet me in Paris. Wow, look at the other card that just shot out, Loyal Heart. Orphans, I don't feel like that's super intense. Mending, <sighs> mending an old relationship. This is it. This is it. Message in a bottle, loyal heart. These other three cards kind of feel like something different. I don't want to tap into too much to that. It feels like we need to focus on message in a bottle and loyal heart. TikTok time is here. Last but not least, milk and honey. I'm not going to say much more. The land of milk and honey. What dreams are made of. This um, is very special. This loyal heart energy as well. It almost looks like a key if you look closely. Remember I said midnight in Paris? TikTok. Wow. All right, that's it, guys. February 2023 feels super rad, Re really relevant. There's energy for Valentine's Day time frame. There's something special and magical about this particular time. It's like the fantasy that, you know, I just, I'm really excited for whoever this is for. That's it. I'm just going to keep it here. I'm not going to say any more because I feel like I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to ruin anything. I just, I want to kind of marinate in this energy. Just embrace the messages that have just come through. Um, if this message came through and came out strong to you, if you got goosebumps from this, if you felt immediately something here um, and you are watching this and you just like something about it feels right, this message could be for you. We never know how things are going to happen. Sometimes they happen in very unique, bizarre ways that we just don't see coming. So embrace whatever this message was. Whatever needed to come out just came out. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. And I will see you in another video. Best of luck to whoever this is for. And congratulations on this amazing journey that you're about to take or embark on. Bye.